And now, live from Laurel, Maryland, USA, the center of the known universe, it's snack time. Ooh, spirit. Hey, we've got the spirit. Ooh, spirit. We're really on our way. Ooh, spirit. Hey, we've got the spirit. Ooh, spirit. Let's rock the shit today. Hey, snack boy, what the hell are you doing? Why are you singing a song? Well, people. Back in 1991, I graduated high school, and I had the heart of an actor and the mind of a student. And I said, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to take this world by storm, and I'm going to use that creative energy I have and just sing and wait tables. And that's why I got a job on the Spirit of Washington. But Snack Boy, how can we go on a spirit cruise line? It's easy. There is a spirit in a every single major city. There's a spirit of Philadelphia. There's a spirit of New York. There's a spirit of Philadelphia. Did I say that? And in each and every one, you can rock the ship. All right, okay. I've been a little sarcastic, and I've been a little, a little over the top today. I did. It was my first job out of high school, and I remember it like it was yesterday. I walked on that boat, and there all the waitresses and waiters all glamorous and made up in their gold lame vest and just makeup, and they're all beautiful. And, I, and I, I applied for the job, and I had to audition. I remember it like it was yesterday. I sung from Les Miserables, and of course at the time I, I hadn't had voice lessons yet, so I could sing kind of, and I sung Bring Him Home. And I was like, bring him home, bring him home. And But luckily, it didn't take a whole lot of talent, and I got the job. It was me on a boat that went down the Potomac River, and it went at night, and it went during lunch, and we would sing, and we would wait tables, and it was glamorous and beautiful. And, and I remember I got to be the Phantom of the Opera. That's right. In 1984, Angel Wood Webber unleashed the Phantom of the Opera, and the spirit Yes, we did. And our show in the middle of the cruise, our little tableau, our little homage to the Phantom of the Opera. Well, the spirit of Washington didn't have a lot of money for costumes, so I didn't quite look like, you know, Michael Crawford. You know, I had a little, like, zorro kind of mask. And, and, you know, the little cape, you could see the drawstrings. And I would always start at the top of this really tacky spiral staircase, kind of like on the love boat. And I would, the music would, the band, we had a spirit of Washington band called Harbor Lights, and they would go, bum, 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 And I would put the microphone in my mouth, and I would really try to dramatically Crawfordize a big, the phantom of the opera is there inside your mind. And one day, as I was performing the phantom of the opera with so much, I was riddled. People, I was riddled with angst. All these brats, children, all these children were all over the spiral staircase. It was a Boy Scout and Girl Scout cruise. And I, and the music had, and I lifted the microphone to my mouth, and the fun for movie, and just then I tripped over some little brat, and I rolled down the stairs, and every, as I could hear it, the handheld mic banged against every step as I went down, the music still playing, and I was like, boom, 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 behind me, and I landed on the stage, and of course, being the true snack boy professional that I am, I lifted the mic to my face, and I continued to sing. But Snack Boy, it sounds like a wonderful job. Why wouldn't anyone have a great time working on a spirit cruise line? Because it was hell. Because what you will never know and never understand about the spirit cruises is that we had to vacuum our own sections at the end of the cruise. And once all the tourists left and all the families were gone, all those horrible tourists with their cameras and their Hawaiian prints and their bad damaged blonde hair and their mean bored faces and their little fat children. Once they were gone, it was you and you was your dirty five table section and your measly tip and you had worked your ass off people and they were gone and you had to vacuum and you had to change a tablecloth and if there was ten waiters, there was one vacuum, people. One. And you'd be there till two in the morning vacuuming their shit off the floor. But you know it was a great experience because now every time I venture into a new job or a new arena or a new experience, I can always say that I worked from the bottom up. People, have you paid your dues? I'm sure you have. And I've paid mine. 
but I still remember the Spirit fondly. I'm going to sing a little more from the Spirit of Washington Review. The, you know, you're waiting tables, and you've got like a cocktail tray full of drinks, and you're trying to get them all out, and the band would go, and now the Spirit is happy to present our Broadway Review. Our talented wait staff is going to sing for you songs from Broadway and the silver screen. And then you'd have to drop your tray no matter where you are and run to the stage, and you, and you just had to take your vest and put it inside out, and suddenly your black vest was a Sparkly diamond, gold lame, and it was as bright as Hollywood sign. And the and, and I had the first solo. It went like this. All right, let me get in the character. All aboard for the Broadway Express. All aboard for the Broadway Express. Yes, all aboard. <laughs>